Huge results. Um, we were working away down the Targa Peninsula and his ewes were starting to get sleepy sickness. They are having a poor spring down there. And we put half a dozen in the yard beside us and then we decided to give them half an hour. They were up running around again and the farmer thought they were actually, they were goners. And he stopped us and we had to do the whole mob. And he swears by it now. We decided to give them a shot of that. Um, the results after a week were, were quite amazing. They, um, they had a complete turnaround, they were eating better, they started to thrive and, and started jumping and skipping around as all hoggets should do when they're doing well. You are I'm not a great advocate of uh, mineral supplements, but uh, well, we've had uh, good results from uh, using it. A drench, which is, um, yeah, I think it's not bad stuff. You can't tell too many people about it because they learn all your trade secrets otherwise. But yeah, that's a little bonus in life, I think. That um, I mean, every time I've got the, every time I have the drench gun in my hand, I mean, uh, if, and it starts from lambs on the tailing board, weaning time or shearing time, month before weaning, weaning time, and then three weekly thereafter. And if they don't need a wormer, they just get, yeah, not a bad product. Especially on the small animals, it really gives them a wee boost and they get away and we've got two mobs of small lambs and one lot's here, it had it real early on, it basically caught up to the rest. The little lambs seem to um, come on uh, much, much better if you use uh, um, often little lambs, uh, they've perhaps been mismothered and uh, not had a good time in life and uh, it just seems to bring them back to normal and away they go. Less tags, a lot less tags, and of course that's a saving for a start. And the price it is, um, is cheap. I use feed changes, which is very, very crucial, especially in the fattening side of things. And we've used a lot of different types of mineral drenches. As the only one that has any benefit that you can actually see. Hinds onto Swedes, off Swedes, hoggets onto Swedes, off Swedes. I mean, yeah, there's not many animals around the place that don't get some. Ca we run about 200 Frisian bulls, We've got a fattening program. You know, if we change the bulls' feed, um, we, we, if there's any major, major feed changes, they'll, they'll swap. You get the bobby cows at 100 k's. When we buy them in, we give them a shot, of, and they don't scare at all. And their coats shine. It's quite outstanding what actually happens. The cheering time, we gave them an another shot of, uh, with, with the drench before they went out on the hill, and they've probably ended up as good a hoggets as we've ever had. Mm. Landmarking time this year, we used it, and we noticed the lambs actually got up off the ground quicker. They, after their tail was cut off, they don't hang around as much and yeah and they didn't didn't shit normally on the irrigated pasture the lambs give a wee scare later before weaning and uh, not as many did that at all but the main main factor was they got up off the ground with the extra that they got normal stags get their barley through the later winter into the spring just quiet them down and seems to give them the lift and yeah i attribute a little bit of the velvet improvement too as well. On lambs, most farmers will know that you drench them and they scare and then you go go back and they're still scaring weeks later and you give them mixed with drench and they just don't scare. We've actually used all our lambs this year and we've got lambs away quicker and heavier weights. Lamb weights certainly have lifted up and we gave them a drench and then four weeks later we sent them out and they were 10 k's heavier than when they come in, which was amazing. We, and they, they never scared at all. They come off droughted out property and they come down onto good irrigated pasture and they never, never scared at all. Not a bad product, I think. 
Not that us poverty stricken peasants would know anything about that shit. <laughs> well, I'd recommend that thing. Yeah, we'll be using it again next year. You're a fool if you don't put it in.